Now she's headed to another appearance, this time on MTV, broadcast to millions of kids around the world. Are you conscious of being a role model? I am. Um, you know, when I was growing up, I loved Prince and, you know, Vanity Six and everyone, a lot of different artists. And my mom, you know, let me listen to their music, but told me, you're a kid, they're adults. I'm your mother, you listen to me. And she was responsible for me. And I feel the same way now, now that I'm a celebrity, you know, I am aware and I am honored that I'm a role model, but I'm not responsible for, you know, I'm, I'm not the babysitter, I'm not the parent, I don't raise children, I feel like your parents should do that. Everyone needs their own mum to read them the right act. Absolutely. <laughs> Beyonce Knowles grew up in Houston, Texas, in a close, church-going, middle-class family. There were talent shows and a string of different girl groups before a trio called Destiny's Child struck a chord. The group's destiny was eight number one hits. They sold 50 million albums, one of the most successful female groups of all time. What is that something special that makes someone a star? I think it's something that you're born with and I think it's something that, you know, people are intrigued by you and it's something that you don't have to try to be, it's just something that you are. It's a presence, is it? Absolutely. Usually when I see other artists, I can tell, even with younger artists or new artists, immediately if they're going to be a star. And um, they, They've either got it or they haven't. They either have it or they don't. I mean, you can fake it for so long, but you can't have a long career faking it. Eventually, people are going to see past the facade. Yeah, 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 yeah. Beyonce gives much of the credit for her success to her parents. Her mother Tina, a hairdresser, became the stylist for Destiny's Child. Her dad Matthew gave up his day job to become her manager. Beyonce was just 15. A schoolgirl by day and a pop star by night. When I was in middle school, I told no, I didn't tell anyone that I, that I sang, I didn't tell anyone I had a record deal. I went to school, I was quiet, I did my job, you know, my grades, and then at night I went to the studio and I would stay there all night and it was like I had two different lives. I was shy, I didn't want people to ask me to sing at school and I didn't...